Lee, people will look at what the Cubs did in ending their 108 year World Series drought and say Chicago should have been given the Sports Person of the Year award. But <laughs> can you explain the impact of LeBron breaking Cleveland's sports curse and why that perhaps runs even deeper than the Cubs curse? Yeah, you know, Maggie, I don't make a decision that's kind of above my pay grade, but you know, it's an individual award, I think. Is at least I think that's the way they'd like it to be. I know a team has won it in the past, at least one. Um, but as far as just an individual championship performance, I, I just it's hard to find one that tops his in basketball, certainly, even really in sports. When you think about the opponent they played, you know, the 73 and nine best record of all time, Warriors, the deficit that they faced, the first NBA team in the finals ever to come back from 3 1 down, and then sort of the stakes for him personally, for Cleveland in general, with half century of losing history. I know that drought wasn't as long as the Cubs in particular, but as far as a civic drought, a city drought, you know, when you put all those teams together, I mean, it was probably. I think it could be safe to say it was the longest suffering city, sports city in America. You put all that together, it's just, it's a pretty strong case, I think. Yeah, so much of LeBron's story, Lee. It's about Akron, it's about his upbringing. You dive back into his childhood. Did you learn anything new about LeBron's formative years that you hadn't known before? I knew he bounced around. I knew he lived in a bunch of different places. Um, you know, I knew it was a struggle. It's just him and his mom. Uh, you know, what was interesting about this is I actually got to go back to those specific places. I got to go back to those streets where he lived and to those some of those homes and, you know, kind of look at them. And I think what's what's interesting to me about it, because so many athletes do have fairly similar stories. I mean, there are so many stories of really difficult upbringings and guys who persevere and, and get through that. And I think use that adversity for, for motivation and to help them through their careers in some ways. But LeBron really, I mean, he clings to it. He still goes there. He still goes there in the middle of the night. He'll kind of drive through those streets in Akron and visit those places. And I think in some ways, I think that it feeds into a little bit of why he went back to Cleveland. And I know that it's what he thought of when he won that championship were kind of the, the ways in which that community opened its doors to him when he was a little kid and not a superstar yet and protected him. And, you know, I don't think, Maggie, that he ever felt, I don't think he was ever, like, indebted or anything like that. Um, but I think that there he does feel a responsibility uh, to that place, and I think it feeds into a lot of what he's done these last few years. Yeah, it runs really deep, and LeBron has even dipped his toe into the political circle. He campaigned a little bit for Hillary Clinton, and he said after the election that he felt like he needed to step it up. He needed to get even more involved. Lee, could you see LeBron James running for office when he's <laughs> done playing basketball? No, no, I, I can't. I, I don't think I don't think that's the way he would take it. I think it's more in terms of philanthropy, in terms of, you know, economic opportunity, like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe being an investor in even more businesses than he's already in, you know, more small businesses, businesses that kind of are, uh, you know, help transform communities. I think it'll be more on that level. I, I don't really think of him as all that political. He will answer your questions. Like when you ask him questions about things, I think he gives it some thought and he will weigh in. Um, but no, I don't see him ever. I don't see him ever becoming um, political to that extent. I'd, I'd be pretty surprised.